Right now, Amarillo's VA Medical Center is in need, dire need, of volunteer drivers. The VA says they currently have just three to four active drivers going to areas as far as San Angelo and Oklahoma City. ABC 7's Natalie Granda has the story. From Colorado Springs to Albuquerque, Navy veteran and volunteer driver for the Thomas E. Creek VA, William Yeager, says his days can be a little long. Sometimes we have anywhere from 12 to 17 hour days. I myself bring in anywhere from 100 to 200 people a year. Yeager says he spends those hours driving patients to and from the VA, along with driving them to other local hospitals and to their medical appointments. To many veterans, this transportation is their only option. I don't have my own car like I used to have. I don't know what I'd do without them. But as the number of veterans coming to the VA grows, Yeager says they're now battling a shortage of drivers. There is a shortage of being able to get the gentlemen to where they have to go and the number of people we can pick up. Right now, VA mobility manager Jason Schaefer says they're down to three to four active volunteer drivers. It puts a major strain on those drivers and also uh, veterans trying to access care. He says last year, the volunteer drivers did close to 1,000 trips. Schaefer says it's gotten to the point where they turned down some people, something they didn't have to do when there were about 14 volunteers last year. Along with helping veterans get to appointments and care, more volunteers also means more medical dollars saved for other programs in the VA. When you start uh, having to admit patients for longer, uh, longer stays, um, the costs go up. And when those costs go up, those medical center dollars um, affects programs that are offered throughout the VA. Yeager says they hope to go back to the same number of volunteers as last year and say even heroes sometimes need some help. Men and women we're bringing in are people that have gone out, done what their job was to ask of them in the military, and now it's our turn to take care of them, to bring them into what their needs are. In Amarillo, Natalie Granda, ABC 7 News.